I'm joined right now by Robert Powell, an executive board member of the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies, and on a personal note, a researcher whose work has really been influential on my own interest in the historical side of the UAP phenomenon. Robert, how are you? Hi, Mike. I'm doing well. It's good to talk to you again. Yeah, it's always good for us to be able to catch up. In fact, Robert, for the first time in decades, the United States government is really putting serious attention toward the UAP issue. What does that mean for the work of the SCU going forward? Well, the, the main efforts the SCU wants to move forward with is as much as we can provide information to Congress uh, related to the phenomenon so that they have a, a broad view uh, of the phenomenon and is, as well as kind of educate them a little on the science portion of it as to what type of features are explainable by our current technologies and what type of features, if seen, would not be explainable. Indeed. And in recent days, of course, we saw this congressional hearing on UAP, which also begs the question, Robert, how can the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies continue to be a positive and reliable scientific source for information for lawmakers on Capitol Hill going forward? Well, I think some of the things we can do is to continue to put out papers on the subject, uh, to contact law uh, makers and provide them information. Uh, I think all of those uh, will help towards, you know, moving this subject forward. Absolutely. You know, Robert, I've got to ask, with your deep background and in research into this subject, what excites you the most about what's happening with UAP right now? Well, I think what excites me the most is this is the first time in 50 years that Congress has made a hearing uh, related to UAPs. And there's a big difference in this current one. The one that was 50 years ago was related to the Air Force, and they were trying to get out of the business of studying this phenomenon. While this one's different because now we're at the front end, they are just now beginning to uh, develop a relationship with Congress. And in this, uh, this time, it's the Navy that's doing the work. So I'm hopeful that um, from all appearances, when I watch the hearings, that they will be open-minded uh, in terms of how they approach uh, their research and interest in the phenomenon. Of course, at the upcoming 2022 Anomalous Aerospace Phenomena Conference down there in Huntsville, we've got a lot of different speakers from diverse backgrounds, many from science, some also from government. Can you talk about a few and what they'll be discussing? Sure, like our guest speaker will be Ryan Graves. And Ryan, uh, some of your audience may not know, is one of the pilots who was involved in the gimbal video. So Ryan will be giving us pers a perspective of a pilot as well as someone who is in the Navy. Um, and then on the next day, after he's our keynote speaker, uh, all of our speakers are well-established um, with PhDs, uh, all very sharp guys. Uh, we have a gentleman from uh, Germany who is a professor there who will be talking about their work on UAP uh, equipment that they use to try to detect objects moving through the atmosphere. Uh, we'll also have, and this should be very exciting, uh, Drs. Kevin Knuth and Dr. Matthew Zadegas, who will be talking about some work they did near the southwestern California coast, the same place in or the same place approximately where the 2004 Nimitz event occurred. And so they've got some really interesting information and some data that they collected, which they will be presenting. So that, that's going to be really good. Uh, we'll also have John Alexander uh, presenting for us. And we've got several other individuals, including Dr. Alexander Wint, uh, some of your audience may be familiar with him. He wrote a, uh, a very interesting paper on the whole concept of ET and uh, how government would approach that if someday in the future, whenever that comes, that there is a detection of ET and how that will affect uh, government and society. Indeed, it sounds like virtually all the speakers have a focus that relates to some important part of UAP research that's going on right now. And although tickets are sold out for the in-person event, those who want to attend, we've got some good news because there are, of course, the streaming packages still available, right, Robert? Right. And if they haven't done that, I would really urge them to uh, attend online. Uh, last year, our conference was 
completely online. So we've got a lot of experience in how to run it. And uh, Richard Hoffman, who's our director, is very good at this. And it's it's really a lot of fun. I participated last year on the online version. Uh, for example, uh, every so often we'll have these kind of meet and greets where on your computer you will be randomly mixed with four, three to four other individuals and you'll have a round table discussion for 15 minutes, kind of a meet and greet, uh, get information on each other. And then the computer mixes you all up again and it sends you off to the next table. So it, it's really uh, a lot of interest. Like last year, I, I happened to be at a table with a lady who was doing her PhD in Israel and you know, and she had an interest in the UAP subject. So there's, it's, uh, it's, it's a great uh, way to uh, attend the conference. It sounds like a lot of fun too. And Robert, I want to thank you for jumping on and spending a little time talking about this event. Uh, tell folks where they can find information for where they can sign up online. Well, if they go to explore SCU, so basically those words, explore, then the letter S, C is in Charlie, U is in university, dot org. And right on that front page will be a link to our registration site. Indeed. We're just days away, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there in Huntsville, my friend. Yes, definitely. Me too. I'll see you then. And of course, for all the information you need about the Scientific Coalition for UAP Studies and the Anomalous Aerospace Phenomena Conference, just head on over to explorescu.org. We hope you'll join us. <laughs>